Hey everybody, Josiah Smith, PA, expert in all things functional, regenerative, and health optimization medicine. Today I have a special guest. This is, what is your name, sir? Shannon Hogan. Shannon Hogan. Yeah, and so conservatively, you had an x-ray and it showed some, uh, I guess, some good osteoarthritis where you're kind of losing the joint spacing. Right, there's reduction in spacing mm -hmm. and I think also reduction in the cartilage on the inside as well, mm -hmm. of the knee, the medial mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. And it was very apparent on the x-rays. Right, and some of the initial recommendations, they said they could do like a syndiscus, which kind of helps with the the cushioning a little bit. Right, we had that done at the VA. It's been about seven months ago and it did provide some reduction temporarily for mm -hmm. about a month and mm -hmm. then it went back to normal pain. Yeah, and so this is why he came in to see us to see what other options there are. So we look outside the box to see what things can work naturally with the body to heal itself and to regenerate. So we discussed and we actually did two things. The first thing we did was plasma rich protein, which is PRP, which is essentially drawing your own blood. Mm -hmm. It gets spun down in a special centrifuge and you're using that those platelets to be injected into the articular uh, car into the articular uh, articular space and we actually did with hyaluronic acid too so PRP has been around in orthopedics for a long time and that will help stimulate the whole healing process it, it promotes your own stem cell production uh, it, it even has its own hyaluronic acid it's going to help with messenger RNA micro RNA and a lot of that uh, anti-inflammatory process so that's number one but the cool thing we did as a follow up to that, we're using a peptide called AOD9604. This is a human growth hormone fragment, which was initially studied for weight loss. It failed miserably, but they did some studies in rabbits using uh, the AOD9604 with hyaluronic acid into the interarticular space and they found that it actually regrew the cartilage. So this got transitioned to humans, and when this is injected into the knee, it actually upregulates the your insulin-like growth hormone, increases the peptide availability, and that itself is gonna increase the uh, cartilage formation, and hyaluronic acid is gonna provide some more cushioning. So you had about two months ago now, you right. had the PRP, we spun his blood, we injected, and we did a series of injections. So can you tell us your experience up to this point? Well, I used a benchmark called the stairs. <laughs> and before uh, going through uh, this uh, therapy regimen, um, and this is after my VA visit, um, climbing stairs is quite painful, uh, bearing weight on the left, left leg. Uh, going upstairs and to a lesser extent going downstairs and using that as a benchmark I would say the the pain level would be maybe six or seven um, uh, since I've gone through uh, several sessions uh, and this uh, today's the last one uh, pain has reduced to maybe uh, oh I didn't know I've had a 50% improvement overall uh, I would say the pain now in the morning, I have no pain, uh, but throughout the day going upstairs, it might go up to about a, uh, two out of 10, maybe three out of 10 max, and that's it. So I've noticed a definite improvement. Yeah, and this will still continue, so the optimal therapy is gonna be about the three to four month mark. So a 50% improvement overall, decrease in pain, and with stairs is fabulous. Now, has that allowed you to do other things outside of climbing stairs? Oh yeah, but again, uh, stairs was just one way of- As a benchmark, uh, sure. Uh, I am working out again, when uh, one of the major uh, problems that it interfered in my weight training, and I'm not doing uh, free weights yet. Uh, we'll address that maybe in a couple more months. But I am doing other exercises, uh, kettlebell, uh, as well as upper extremity exercises, push-ups and sit-ups and things like that. And I'm quite capable of performing those now. That's awesome. So we have a special treat because we are going to do his last injection today of the AOD 9604 and the hyaluronic acid. And stay tuned because that's what's up next. Hey everybody, we're back. We're now going to inject Shannon's knee. So we mark the landmarks. We clean it with chlorhexidine. Now we have a topical ethyl chloride spray to decrease the discomfort. That's cold, huh? All right. Yeah. 
And so we have the spot, the spot marked and we're going to go one, two, there we go. It's always, it's still a needle going in and hyaluronic acid is actually very thick. And there we go.